Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Leo, I want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101, we will be going back into schedule on Sunday. I want to apologize. It's been crazy, uh, almost feeling like I'm being pulled towards different directions right now, um, but we're going back on schedule again, so you guys definitely stay tuned. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like uh, bell notification, so you guys can get notified every time a video goes up. Don't forget to like and comment on our video so that you guys can help with the algorithm. Um, also, a quick mention, we are getting a few of your favorite soaps um, that have been sold out for a bit. Uh, going back in restock. So you guys can definitely check that out. Uh, they're going to be going uh, up on our site on the beginning of March. So just letting you guys know. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. How are you doing, my lovelies? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. For those of you guys that are single, celebrate it as well. Nothing wrong with treating yourself getting yourself a nice bottle of wine, relaxing, watching a good movie, um, treating yourself. You know what I mean? Like you don't need, you don't need anyone to do that for you, to make you feel special. You can do that for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. I am all for it. Anyways, how is this Venus retrograde treating you guys? been pretty crazy on my side bringing people from the past out of the woodwork not that we need that type of fuckery but we have been experiencing that as well as waking up one day and just deciding to completely go bald yeah that's what's going on on my side <laughs> it is on my sign of capricorn so major transformations there anyways let's get into your reading leo let's see what's going on with you guys spirit guides ancestors and archangels what are the messages for leo sun moon rising and venus for the month of february 2022 oh we got cards flying out okay one more shuffle leo sun moon rising and venus okay so we're starting off here with the four of pentacles leo i see you guys being a little bit being a little bit private i see you guys um taking inventory um thinking about the future thinking about what it is that you want to make happen what it is that you're wanting to manifest or to bring into your life for some of you guys a little bit guarded when we're talking about love and romance the next card here is the page of swords so i do see you guys having a reason to be private i feel like a lot of people are watching you right now leo uh, this could be on social media this could be people asking about you people from the past don't be surprised if people start coming you know like i said coming out of the woodwork um but i do feel like there is a specific individual that is from the past could be air sign uh, aquarius libra gemini type of energy doesn't have to be their sun sign um I feel them trying to look into what's going on in your life, primarily more to do with your personal or private life, meaning love life. All right, so we have the Six of Swords here. Your next card here is the Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Damn, a lot of, a lot of energy here. Air energy and the Wheel of the Year. Beautiful energy. Okay. I see you guys contemplating. I see you guys very much in your um, in your head right now. I feel like you guys have kind of disconnected from your emotions. Um, it's almost like it's almost like you got into a point where you were in your feels about something. It could be um, it could be the fear of uncertainty for some of you guys. It could be thinking about, you know, I've been at this job for five, six, ten years. There hasn't been major change or much progress. I would have thought that by now I would be at this position or I would be at this part in my life. For some of you guys, I would have thought that I would be married by now. For others of you, I would have thought that I would have children by now. Um, 
there is a lot of like self-talk that's going on right now. And I feel that it has a lot to do with, um, it has a lot to do not only with Venus retrograde, but I feel that there is like, there is a feeling of complacency that you're trying to break through or away from that. Um, there's been like not major momentum going on in your life in the past couple of weeks. And this is like creating a lot of frustration, a lot of feeling of being stuck. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be even like very low energy, not really wanting to mingle, not really wanting to put yourself out there. And it has you like thinking, it has you over analyzing, it has you very much in your head. Um, but they are showing me here the Knight of Swords with the Moon card. So I do feel that you guys are being um, intuitively pushed towards the direction that you should be or you should be walking towards. Um, the Knight of Swords could indicate communication, but this can also indicate uh, having random thoughts or random ideas that pop in your head out of nowhere. As an example, um, I'm trying to start my own business, but don't really know what my niche would be. And then all of a sudden, two, three days later, something, an idea or something pops in your head that is specifically to do with the niche or specifically to do with, you know, something that you're passionate about that you didn't really think about. What they're telling you is listen to your intuition, Leo. It's going to be crucial for this month. And I feel that March as well. Your intuition, listening to your intuition is what's going to guide you. It's almost like because I see a lot of swords, it indicates to me feeling like like being very much in your head about what's going to happen in the future. But you feel like you're not really making major stride, major movements. So there is a fear of what the future may be because you're uninspired right now. But again, inspiration will be flowing to you very organically and very easily for this month and for the month of March. So pay attention to that because that's what, think of the intuition as being the light in the darkness, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. If you follow your intuition, regardless if you, you know, if it's dark, if it's completely pitch black and you can't really see, um, it's almost like close your eyes, take a deep breath, listen to that feeling, that little voice in your heart, not in your head of where you should go or what decisions to make or what moves or what changes need to happen in your life in order to fully embrace that energy and to bring you to that energy of being inspired, being, you guys are a, a fire sign. You guys need to be inspired. You guys need to be passionate about what you're doing. You need to be passionate about your job. You need to be passionate about your partner. If there is no passion in what you're doing, it's almost like a feeling of, I don't want to say depression, but almost like a, a very downer type of energy because you guys thrive on passion. So again, listen to your intuition. This is going to lead you not only to success, but it's going to lead you to possibilities that you never thought were there. With the wheel of the year, the wheel is turning, but it also indicates being guided towards listening to your intuition to be able to strike luck, to be able to strike an idea that is going to turn into major financial growth for some of you guys, for others of you looking or finding financial freedom in your passion or in what you do, uh, for others of you being guided towards the person or the partner that's right for you. But again, listen to your intuition. Also pay attention to your dreams, Leo. Uh, I see you guys very intuitive uh, for this month of February. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.